Sharon Callan è entrata ai Pixar Animation Studios nel 1994 come supervisore dell'illuminazione per il primo film dello studio, Toy Story. Ha poi lavorato come direttore della fotografia per Bugs Life, Toy Story 2, Alla ricerca di Nemo e per il film premio Oscar Ratatouille e nel recentissimo Cars 2. Dopo la scuola d'arte ha iniziato la sua carriera come art director per trasmissioni televisive e produzioni video. Prima di entrare alla Pixar è stata direttrice delle luci per la Pacific Data Images, lavorando per la pubblicità per forma televisivi e applicazioni grafiche. Kalan ha tenuto molte lezioni sull'illuminazione dei personaggi, sullo shot lighting, sul master lighting e più in generale sulla pittura con la luce e sulla composizione, sia alla Pixar sia al di fuori. I think the, the biggest changes that I've seen since we worked on Toy Story in 1994 till now in 2011 are the the complexity that we can handle in our movies, the, the cast of thousand extras and you know all of the, the simulation that we can do on clothing and hair and fur and just the general complexity of, and scope of the sets and even small things like you know occlusion shadows um, that give contact it, to you know objects Um, and I, I think it's, it's just the addition of lots of lots of little things and, and more and more growth and complexity. Um, like for instance in Toy Story, um, which now looks really simple compared to something like, um, like Brave, which is coming out next year. Uh, you could probably, on our render farm now, we could render the entire movie of Toy Story in maybe two or three days over a weekend. Um, And of course, you know, per frame, our movies now still take the same amount of time to render as they did years ago. And it's because we've just grown in, you know, the kind of complexity that we can add and the richness of the imagery. Well, I think the, the, when, I'm, when I'm teaching lighting to, to new students, um, I think the most important thing that I, I try to make people realize is just how even really small adjustments in light placement make a really big difference, especially on characters' faces and how they feel and how the, the surfaces are, are modeled, how the form is modeled with light um, and how to shape the light to do what they want it to do. And Cars 2, it's a movie about traveling around the world and it was really important that each international location feel like you've been there or you want to go there. We tried to capture those perfect iconic postcard movements of each city. So we paid a lot of attention to, you know, the, the basic architecture obviously, but also, you know, the time of day when you're there and the weather. Like in, in Tokyo, we really wanted to have Um, you know, all of that neon signage that you associate with Japan. And so it made sense to have it be a night sequence. When we go to France, you know, we really made sure that, you know, the, it had that really nice soft lighting and, and beautiful clouds like you often see in Paris. You know, it needed to feel like a typical sunny Parisian day. And when we were in the Riviera, you know, of course you think of the Riviera as just being this endless blue sky and perfectly clear blue water and lots and lots of sunshine with nice sun-drenched colors. And London, you know, you kind of expect London to be overcast and gray and emotionally it, that happened to fit with where we were in the story at that point so it was kind of a nice combination.